Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to enable secure boot if you need to do that for a Windows 10 to 11 upgrade. So as you can see, I'm still on Windows 10. So first thing we need to do is we need to check to see if secure boot is enabled or not on this computer. So go down to start, and then you wanna type in system, and you wanna to go to system information. So right here in the middle, you can see secure boot is, secure boot state is off. So we need to turn that on. And this just gives you more security uh, for Windows 11. You don't have to do this to install Windows 11, but if you're gonna do like TPM 2.0, because you have to do that, you might as well just update this as well. So let's go ahead and get into our BIOS and we can get this started. So go ahead and restart the computer. And this is for Intel boards as well. So I have an Asus Intel board. If you have an AMD, it probably will be similar, but it may not be exactly the same. Okay, so the tough gaming screen should come up. And let's hit delete or F2 to get into BIOS. Okay, so we're in BIOS here. Now if we go down to advanced here on the bottom, let's hit that. And we wanna go over to boot. And if we go down to this option, secure boot, let's hit that. And OS type right now says other OS. So what we wanna do is we wanna change that to Windows UEFI. And that's all you need to do. So now secure boot state is enabled. All you need to do is hit exit, save changes. And yes, we wanna do UEFI mode, okay? And then let your computer, your computer's gonna turn off and then it's gonna set the BIOS and then restart. So once it restarts, then we can go check to make sure that uh, the secure boot is there. So now if we go back to start and we do system again, system information, secure boot state is on. So now it's on, now you should be good to go to uh, install Windows 11. So that's all you need to do for that. Pretty simple, if you have any comments, let me know below and thanks for watching.